Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys the software for the on-brand gaming mouse. This is my personal mouse that I use every day for gaming and I honestly love it. It is a perfect mouse for me and I love it. I love how it's not that heavy and it's not that light so it's perfect for swinging on the mouse pad. And the optical um, sensor is really high quality and it is built really well. Now, if you have the same mouse, it will come with a disc to put into the computer, which I do have, and it is actually in the computer at the moment. And it has a software on it that the computer automatically downloads and it goes to your um, desktop here. Now, I clicked and dragged it over here because this is where all my stuff is. Then double click the software. And it will not it will not bring you to this um, section here at first it will bring you to here and it will be named game one game two game three game four and game five and i just have it preset to two of them for my personal things and then have three extra slots for whatever game i want to preset it for now the game one i have for Obviously, it says here I use it for games, and this one um, has RGB on, and it will automatically have the RGB on as soon as you plug it into the PC, the mouse itself. And then you go down to the bottom left corner here. You'll be DPI settings, meaning meaning that DPI basically is um, for however you set it to. Like if I wanted to be 200, it moves 200 pixels every inch. I'm moving the mouse on the mouse pad. I set it to 800 because I personally love that setting. Or I do sometimes do 400 and 600. 600 is too slow for me. I use 800 max and maybe a thousand at most if I want to do a little quick little stuff. But 800 is perfect perfect for me. And you can also adjust the DPI if you wanted to do the DPI or you have a macro. Um, I don't do any macros because I don't want to fool with them. Um, unfortunately, you cannot macro the um, left click. You can macro the left button, which is right here, so you can do whatever you want with that. And you can macro anything else. Like You can macro the scroll wheel. You can macro the light button. You can macro anything except the right or left click. So the lighting. Um, this is really, really simple to get through. Um, I'll show you everything about it because I feel like that's what most people get this mouse for is the lighting. I don't, I just want to give me a mouse. That's the only one I saw the store. So you can do um, office buttons and uh, you can do multimedia and you can do the standard, you know, little key settings and the macros, you can do the macro and here comes the lighting. So lighting, you have preset colors. Um, it can do orange, yellow, green, purple, pink, and then the full spectrum. Over here, the blinking meaning that it blinks different colors every half of a second, I believe. And then breathing, it just, you know, obviously it breathes that color and then changes the color every time. The full lightning is, um, it, um, like, you choose, I don't know why I clicked OK, but if you want it to be pink you can put on full lightning pink okay and then it stays that solid pink color if you want it to be full lighting cyan and then okay it changes to cyan and obviously if you want it if you want it to be white you can have the white um i have it on flow because i like it how it um flows through everything um i do have to set it on the full spectrum though if you do want it to be the flow and then the Bree or the uh, Marquee, that is one of the coolest um, settings I think is on the mouse. So you click that and you click OK. And look at this. It starts from the bottom or the, or the bottom right or the bottom left corner and flows up. And it changes colors as it goes, which is sick. I love it. And then underneath it is a spectrum. Obviously, it just flows through the whole spectrum. It keeps looping around, and then you can have RGB off. Um, I personally put on flow, but I'm going to stick with the Mercury at the moment. Mouse pointer speed. You adjust the speed of the mouse pointer. You have it really slow, and I believe um, if you put it, that down and then the 200 DPI, you can barely move the son of a gun. It is so slow. 
it's just insane. Put down a little bit. Of that. Oh, there we go. Then you can do the double click speed. So if you can make it to where um, you put it all the way down, it does not double click, click or you can adjust it and um, all that stuff um, to where it um, you press it once and it double clicks really fast. Um, yeah, all that good stuff. <laughs> Scroll speed, it says for itself if you want it to be slow or if you want it to be fast. It's all that stuff. And then just click the DPI button and you can see it changes here to whatever one you want. This is max DPI, which I hate, and then it goes back to mine. Polling rate is 1000 hertz, 500 hertz, 250 hertz, or 125 hertz. And I do 1000 hertz usually just because I don't know what that stuff is. <laughs> I just leave it there. And then you can obviously preset anything you want. This is this is like you know default. And then I usually do the one for games because I like this one. No, oh. <laughs> I don't want to click that. But um, yeah, that's basically the um, on-brand um, software. And you can add more slots if you want to. Um, I just stick with the this much because I I only need two. You know, um, you can delete them you want some and you can add them so here I'll, I'll do obviously the untouched and then three all right so that'll be if a video basically I just want to show um, if you have the same mouse and basically because I needed a second video up on the channel um, today um, of, the, of this week so yeah if you guys do and did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and if you do enjoy my content please subscribe um, turn on the notifications to never miss a single upload and without further ado hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day night or morning and stay safe see ya